Golf Sixes held here at Centurion Club boasted some fascinating innovations such as celebrity interviews and a shot clock on one of the six holes being played by two-man teams representing their nations. So was it a success? We spoke to players, fans and officials to find out more. It came about uh, through a series of conversations that we've had internally. We definitely have a, a culture now at the European Tour that is is uh, has put innovation at the top of the forefront of everything that we do. We know that the, the 72 hole tournaments and the traditional aspect of the game will always be there and always be an important part. But but we, we feel that there is a narrative around golf right now that needs to evolve, that needs to be innovative, that needs to look at new formats. And, and we're just happy to be at the forefront of that. For the players, it also made for a break from their typical tournament routine, with the action compressed into the weekend. I think it's great to have you know, tournaments like this um, that only take two days, so it's fairly easy for, for guys to, to plan it in their schedule. Um, it's great to you know, find new formats to see how, uh, how we get more people involved in golf, and I think that's, that's very important for the long term. I never played a tournament, a six-hole tournament. But uh, it's, you know, when we grow up playing golf, uh, amateur golf, we just to play a lot of teams events and uh, uh, to play from for our country uh, is very special. I think it's absolutely fantastic. And over the shorter format as well, it, it'll be even better because you can just sort of, you know, just go straight after it straight away. You know, normally match play, you try and feel your way into it at the start and then go after it, but this will be brilliant. You know, you just go straight in and, you know, if we, don't, if we don't beat our opponents, I'm just going to absolutely banter them out of the game. I'm just going to be in the rear roll the whole way around. Of course, the main aim of this event is to attract new fans to golf. So we caught up with some of the spectators who came here over the weekend to find out what they thought about golf sixes. It's quick, it's light-hearted, yes. it's fun, yeah. Yes. yeah. You can see that the um, pros enjoy it as yes. well, which is nice. Yeah. I think it'll appeal to more people as well. Yes. Yeah, definitely, especially it, youngsters. It's much speedier than normal golf. There's always something going on, and uh, yeah, I think just trying to get the crowd involved with some new ideas, I think it's really excellent, good idea for golf. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a novice, but it's much more interesting to me to see it in a, in a shorter, um, you know, see, see a shorter game and, um, and lots going on. I mean, I haven't been to watch live golf before, so um, coming down here, the atmosphere's good, it's similar to the 2020, which I've seen a lot of. Um, it's just a, a different way to experience it. And I think it's open to everyone, which is good. It's not just pure thoroughbred golfers coming here. Me and my brother-in-law came on Friday, uh, watched the Pro-Am, which was really good. You know, you get up and close to the celebrities, which is nice. And it's all casual, so it's really nice to interact. And they're interacting with you. My wife's come along. Uh, my niece has come along to watch it. And it's, it's good fun to bring them out. Uh, who never come and play golf or never watch golf and think it's boring, so getting them involved is really good. Well, we certainly enjoyed being a part of this brand new exciting event on the European Tour and the action out on course during Saturday and Sunday certainly didn't disappoint. It was upbeat and informal right from the start, but the golf was also top class with some superb scores compiled. Pre-event favourites England, represented by two Ryder Cup players in Chris Wood and Andy Sullivan, came through the group rounds only to be knocked out by Italy in the shape of Matteo Manassero and Renato Paratore. The Italians would go on to finish third, losing a playoff hole against Scotland's Mark Warren and Richie Ramsey that was decided by one of the many innovations on show, a closest to the pin competition. Oh my goodness, four inches difference. There you go, well done, Scotland. In the final, Denmark's Torbjorn Olesen and Lucas Bjergaard faced Scott Hend and Sam Brazel of Australia. Right in the middle. And Denmark will head to the final hole with a 2-1 lead over Australia. Olesen's approach at the sixth hole then looked to have been pushed dangerously close to the water. Oh, it's got a hold on there. That's got a hold on. Oh, my goodness. What a break. Australia couldn't force a playoff as the Danish pair triumphed 3 and 1. Olesen adding a second team title to his CV after also winning the World Cup of Golf last November. And Denmark are the winners of the inaugural Golf Sixes. 
it's gone pretty well for me in team events recently, so uh, I was hoping for a win, but uh, um, no, Lucas played great, especially these last six holes. Um, I was struggling a little bit, and then the last I, I got pretty lucky, um, but uh, we got away with it.